Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Knight's Kingdom review, and this one is on uh, Vladik and King Matthias from 2004, of course. So on the front of the canisters, which just about the same as from the as all the other figures in this wave, of course, shaped like a castle, tower, and so on. But as you see, Matthias's, of which quite uniquely done with this odd purplish blue color of course and also and of course gold lid to it and of course with all the lids in this wave which all have these lego logo etched into them and a few holes to stick lightsaber bars rods into them of course but anyways but on the tops on the covers of which you see the lego knight's kingdom logos and picture of the figures that come within and also the annoying blue uh, border that we see on all the sets from 2003 and 4, of course, and also three game cards included with, with Vladic, of course, and then Lego logo again, and the recommended ages, set number, amount of pieces, and if on to the back side, which advertising the three or five other figures that there are. And also how to flip up the masks of the character, and how to uh, knock the shields off each other, and also add, add showing the figure with the canisters again, and then also barcode, Lego group trademark, and also so it is the Lego logo set number again, and where the components are made, and yeah, and that's it with the canisters. And off onto the instruction manual of King Matthias, so, which same picture of him from on the front of the caster, but a little bit more spread out with the castle in the background, and of course logos, logos again, and age group set number again, and yeah. And the front page which out of the five main figures together, and then back side of which, which has final building steps to him and also a little comic strip of the storyline of course And then how to win on the online survey. Then add for some of the system sets that there were for the time, of course. And also with this version of Black that I got is has this like special extra box included with which says includes cape and also map of Morcia, of course. And being a bonus pack of that, of course. So as you see, this open section is, or open section, which is where the canister was, if you got it like that. And as you see, advertising, same stuff again, and you know, the back side, which is some more advertisements, of course. And also, if you like flip it open like that, there's where this compartment is where the bonus stuff is in. Like you get these two little sticker sheets of all the knights together. And also this little poster of it. Which so that you can unfold and also this Kind of like that of Galador, with the Galador figures, with the figures together and all. With them leaping out, and also the little website, which is probably not active anymore, but if you tried logging to that, it might redirect you somewhere. And also the logo with one of their old slogans, Play On. 
or from way back when only the only the best is good enough, of course, and also a little earlier than that. Just imagine, and on the back side is all the minifig versions of them around a, the map of Morcia. And, and now, if you're looking to travel on a quest through Morcia, pause the video or admire this map. Also, pause the video. So, first off, for the figs, which is the main villain of all, Vladek, which, as you can see, quite a neat color scheme added to him of mostly black, but also a secondary color of red, which does remind us of which probably got the inspiration for the scrawl in, in the 2009 wave of Bonacle, of course, but also with dark red as well, also provided that of Stronius, another scrawl from the time, but yeah. And so now on to the legs here, which as you see, all the same as from the other knights, which the instead of like nice smooth pieces to it but instead has jagged slope bits to it probably to make him more prickly and to fit with his evil theme and also the same thing as uh, Santis also had with the leg pieces inside rather than on the on the outsides which and as for the main body piece of which just about the same as all the other figures, but instead in black with some red uh, print torso printings on it, and also does have and also the, some more jagged slopes of which on the eight studs in on the eight studs on his chest, and also jagged slopes around to make him more prickly and evil, of course. And the uh, arms of which a little bit same as the others, but also with this little pe engine piece from racers but used as additional armor of course and also does have unique sword piece which we well some of these sword pieces we also saw in exoforce of course but this one also in particular also was there and from the back side of which as you see it does have the knob to make the arm swish up and down same, just like all the others of this time, of course. And as for the other side of which, or which is the shield, but and this shield, but just like Jayco's, is was used on a couple of mini figure sets at the time, of course. And if you knows that I do have a a black dish piece on when originally it comes with clear, but since I got him used, it just had that. But whatever. And, and of course, like the rest, you can just tap it and slash it right off, of course. And as for this printing, of which quite nice with the red scorpion on there, of course. And as for the mask right here. which quite similar to the minifigure versions of him and also nice sculpting to it and of course has a little bit more face exposure in it to, more so than the rest of course and also has dark red head piece there uh, which more unique than the main ones but we can and of course flip open and, and does have his kind of stern into face but with the red eyes of which and of course represent him more evil of course and yeah and as for articulation or just for articulation which same as all the rest of the figure there's, there's in good articulation through all of it but regardless of the ratcheted joint And that is about it with Vladek. 
And now onto the rightful ruler, or main ruler, uh, King Matthias, of course. Also a quite interesting one. And also one with a unique color to him, like Dangju, of course. But as you see, mainly this interesting blue color, which which we also saw in some of the minifig sets, but a secondary color of bright blue. Although I think the bright blue bits, I think also would work out work out great on Jayco, fitting in with his color scheme. But of course, white was probably there to clash with that. Of course. And as for the legs of which, quite similar to that of most of the other figures. Like with these kind of plate pieces on them. And of course positioned in a similar way as like down juice, but however one is like upside down than the rest, just to make it more fresh, of course. And as for the body piece, of which same as all the rest, but in the blue color, of course, and also some nice printings on it with the crown part, part to it, and also the eight studs in the center. Yeah, eight studs in the center, of which to put these two uh, windshield type pieces on too. And of course, quite dumb for that. And of course, making it quite nice and smooth, of course, but yeah. And as for the arms of which, just about the same as the rest, and arranged the same similar way as Jayco's, of course, and also, oh, let me see. And also, same sword piece as Jayco in the same tone of gold, of course. And as for his uh, shield bit of which, quite interesting with the crown and lion on it since of course since of course lion has been symbol of most uh, castle sets for a long time of course and for the back part of which which is mostly colored by a gray cape which of course this bonus bundle pack included but and of course this you can definitely use on most uh, Bonacle Hero Factory blocks if you'd like and underneath that is of course, the lever that does the gear, that does the arm slashing function, of course. And as for the head, of which, if I take off this crown piece of which, same piece as all the rest of it, but however, his uh, headpiece is in blue. Well, instead of like light gray and dark gray, like the rest do. So at least it's good to see some, some a little bit different to that. And of course, the head face print of which just about similar to quite similar to the minifig versions, of course. And onto the, with this crown piece, which is of course meant to fit on him and sculpted quite well. Like and of course on top is a single stud where you or yeah single stud where you can attach different stuff on or studs onto a course and of course fit on him just quite well and so for the articulation is that the head does swivel back and forth and kind of makes the cape move a bit and make. And all the articulation, same as all these other figures, of course. First, regardless of the ratcheted joints, of course. Okay, and so now on to with the final verdict. So overall, I think these which are quite cool sets for the for the time and still now as well like of course for King Matthias do you get plenty of that nice blue color or of course which can mesh with some mocks if you wanted and Vladik of which nice to see this color scheme going on see the red and black color scheme with that kind of fit in with the uh, rock tribe of Barabakna Bonacle of course 
and of course sword pieces and a of which great to have for mocks of course mocking as obviously but also for and as for the like eight dollars that they were back then back in the day well I think they were quite good for that or pretty good for that obviously and yeah because although they may although at this point of which they may be a little bit repetitive to the previous ones but at least for the following year kind of brightened things up a bit too of course but yeah and so now if you all still have these sets from back in the day well i hope you had some good memories of them and for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets i'd say definitely pick them up ebay bricklink whatever or mercari or just whatever but yeah and that is it for this video please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching